In the United States, climate change is said to be affecting one of the most iconic whale species, humpback whales. Now, they're spending more time in the waters off New York City. What used to be rare, well, it's now become something of a regular sight in the harbor in recent years. Scientists are trying to understand more about these creatures to better protect them. Gabrielle Fami with this report. It's something few people thought they would see in their lifetime. A humpback whale swimming up to the surface in waters just south of Manhattan Island, within sight of the New York City skyline. I did go to Alaska last year to see whales. It was nothing like this. This was much better. This was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. They move, they are many, many tons, and they move like dancers. There didn't used to be humpbacks in New York. Tom Palladino's family has been in the boating business since 1945. But the whale watching tours only started in the last decade or so. At first, he says they only saw humpbacks every other trip. Now, it's practically every time. It seems like more and more people are, uh, you know, coming out whale watching. A lot of times in the beginning, which you can't blame them, they would call up the office and say, are there really whales in New York? And we'd say, yeah, we saw them. You know, we, we tell the people the truth. We saw them this day and that day. And that's sort of wearing off now. These whales don't just come here for pit stop. They tend to stay 30 days on average, sometimes even more, and they come back. And most of them are young whales, younger than five years old. That's what researchers discovered when they began cataloging the whales based on the unique patterns under their tails. There is obviously something here that is keeping them here for an extended period of time and leading them to return in consecutive years. Uh, the main factor that drives humpback whale distribution this time of year in spring, summer and fall is prey. That prey has become abundant here. Experts say it could be because the water around New York is cleaner than it's been in decades. But climate change is likely a big factor, as warming waters elsewhere draws fish populations here. Either way, it's a sign of the humpback's recovery. It was one of the first whales protected under the Endangered Species Act in the 1970s. It's come back from the brink of extinction to now a population of 80,000 around the world. No other whale species has recovered so strongly. Humpback whales were not hunted for nearly as long as some other species. Humpback whales are more opportunistic, so they will focus on any type of schooling fish species. So not just the Atlantic menhaden we see here, but Atlantic mackerel, Atlantic herring. There are many different types of species that they can feed on. So that is probably um, a, a big factor. But scientists say the whales are likely here to stay, and there are new risks that come with that. These are some of the busiest commercial shipping lanes. 30% of the humpbacks that died in recent years on the east coast of the U.S. were killed by boats. Already, whale-watching trips like this one report their sightings, alerting other boats, as well as helping researchers gather data. Scientists say it will take all hands on deck once again to make sure the species stays protected. Gabrielle Fami, CNA, New York.